All right, man, Tall Guy Car Reviews back with another legendary video today, baby. Now, listen, man, I see the comments. I see what y'all saying, G-Squad. Y'all say y'all want a car review? Cool, let's see, man. I'm here. I'm at BMW Man and Tonka. I got my guy, Brian Dow. He's going to help me out. I'm going to go ahead and introduce y'all to him real quick. How's it going, everybody? My name is Brian Dow, uh, sales advisor here at BMW Minnetonka. I'm going to help uh, Corey uh, get acclimated with the new M5, answer any questions you may yep. have, and then, uh, yeah, we'll kind of move forward from there. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell y'all, this man helped me out tremendously. Now, y'all know I'm not even an analytical person when it comes to cars, but he said something I really, really like today. You told me I was an uh, everyday uh, used car enthusiast and not a technical car enthusiast, yeah, and I was like, I got to use that. You were enthusiastic. The parts of the car you're actually going to use. A lot of uh, car enthusiasts, some, some of them work in the back here, they're very enthusiastic about horsepower, the technical stuff, things are going on under the hood. That's not entirely what Corey's looking for. He's looking for more things you're going to use on a day to day basis, things are, you know, performance. Uh, I lost my train of thought there, kind of. It's okay. Performance aspect of things, uh, kind of the comfort aspect of things, how you're going to use it on a day to day basis. That's kind of what Corey goes over, and that's kind of why I was able to help him because I'm not great with the technical stuff either. <laughs> yeah but I know how to use these every day. So hey, He's a great guy, man. And for the people out here who's watching this video at home right now, if you want to get a BMW or interested in a BMW, you want to do some research on a BMW, anything BMW, hit on my guy, Brian Dow. I will answer any questions. I will try not to pressure you, but yeah. there'll be some pressure. And I'll put all your info in um the, in the description below yeah. so people click the title and then everything with your information yeah. will be right there. This guy helped me out a lot. And one thing I really commend about this guy, and I just told him this, yeah. is that he didn't even know who I was. And, and I came in and he treated me like most people who would know who I am, who's doing car reviews, you know what I mean, that could actually help their business and stuff like that. And I and I appreciate that, man. Yeah, Breath of fresh air in this world, man. No question about it, man. So make sure y'all hit up Brian Dow. I'm now about to do the review on the 2019, 2019 BMW F M5. Yep. F90 competition. M5. Com F F90 M5 competition. So real quick, before I before I get to going and doing my thing, tell them what do you love most about this? Uh, well, it. <laughs> The horsepower is phenomenal. It's uh, the competition is going to be just over 600 horsepower, I believe 617, uh, 553 pound-feet of torque. You feel every bit of it. I put gas in it, and I put a little too much pressure on the uh, accelerator <laughs> uh, on the other side of the building. There, I threw the back end of the car out doing about 25 miles an hour. So there's a lot of power. And the fact that you can switch from all-wheel drive to two-wheel drive. All-wheel drive makes it a four-season car, even in Minnesota weather. Uh, yep. It does not look like a Minnesota January if you look at it right now. No, it's supposed to look like Antarctica. Right yeah, now, it, yeah, this is this is kind of like mid March for Minnesota, so Facts. this is very nice. This will get you through a typical Minnesota January for the most part with that all wheel drive. Well, Brian, yeah. listen, man, I appreciate you, bro. Absolutely. I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing and I'm gonna see you when I get back. Make sure y'all hit up Brian Dow, legendary guy, man. All right, thank you very much. Let me know when you're back, I'll be happy to help you out. All right, thanks, bro. You're very well. So, I want to give a special shout out to my guy, Brian Dow. Uh, and everybody up there at uh, BMW Minnetonka, man, I'm going to have all their info in the description below. So if you want to hit them up, get a BMW, do some research on a BMW, or even just learn about BMWs, you can go up there, hit them up, call them, whatever. All the info will be in the description below. Make sure you rock with them. Really cool people, man. We actually had a long conversation, me and all the management up there, the salesman. Just really nice people, man, to sum it up, man. But my guy, Brian Dalb, I told him he actually looks like Thor from Avengers or Captain America or like a blend in between two, man. Really good guy, man, I like him a lot. But today's video is gonna be a little different than any other video I've ever done before, man, definitely with the car reviews. Now, like I said, I've seen that y'all wanted car reviews, right? Y'all saying this over and over again. So let's get back to the car reviews, let's do it. Let's see, and I'm gonna do a whole different, different approach with it. Usually all I ever focus on in my car reviews for anybody who's new to my channel or this is your first time watching any of my videos, I usually, all I do in my car reviews is how's it look, how does it feel? How does it drive? But today I'm gonna add a whole different variable. You see the structure and the voice and in which I'm talking to y'all, I'm at number four today. Number four is gonna be a little bit of analytics. And now this, and all depending on how y'all like it or comment below and let me know how y'all felt about the whole video after you watched the whole video and everything like that. And let me know if y'all want more videos like this. And if you do, I will do more videos like this. But it's a little hard to come up with car content and car reviews, especially here in Minnesota, like I was just talking about uh, to the management up there at uh, BMW Minnetonka, uh, just because of all the snow and Antarctic weather and all that good stuff that Brian uh, Dow was talking about as well. But I'm adding a little bit of analytics to it, man, a little bit of structure to it. And all I'm gonna do is touch on the main things that make the new cars different than the old cars or you know the predecessors or anything like that before it. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get right to it. So G-Squad, this is the new 2019 M5 BMW almost damn tore my damn ACL right there. Um, and this is the first M series with 
all-wheel drive. Now you can switch it from all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive. I actually took down notes for this one, G-Squad. This is the first car review I've ever done where I actually took down notes. You see the car just sitting right there too? What they doing? Type over here like, why this guy got the camera? But anyway, man, <laughs> um, this is the first M-Series with all-wheel drive. So they broke the game and they really broke the mold in 2019 with this M5, man. I actually like it because in Minnesota, as you can see, as I'm walking over all this snow right here, this is actually something you have to think about here in Minnesota. Like, you want a rear-wheel drive car because, you know, for all the reasons that everybody wants a rear-wheel drive car. Because it's more fun, you can get sideways, all that good stuff. And fun is all relative. Some people probably think, you know, all-wheel drive is more fun than rear-wheel drive. It's all relative. You know, but for the people that want rear-wheel drive, you kind of got a second guess getting a rear-wheel drive car here in Minnesota because of the snow. So now that they got all-wheel drive, and rear wheel drive and that you can switch back and forth to both you can do all wheel drive all winter put you some nice winter tires on here which one this one does not um and you'll be good to go um but at the same time you don't necessarily have to switch it and you'll be cool too and then when the summertime come around you can put it in rear wheel drive and blow the mook off the thing man i mean you can't really go wrong with this joint now as you can see you got the quad tips right here boom Bam, and then you got the M5 competition right there. Now, that, are we gonna get to that M5 competition right there because that competition actually adds a few more horses. And I think if I'm not mistaken, it adds about exactly 17 horses. Like it's 617 horses. I read it on Car and Driver. Um, it's the 617 horses with the competition, but without the competition, when it's just a regular M5, it's 600 horses. So, you know, it adds a little bit, a little extra drip to it. The body style really hasn't changed much, but you know, you got the wide openness right here. Down here, you got the adaptive cruise control. You can see it right here. This box right here, you got the front sensors. You got the M5 with the legendary colors right there. I mean, all the little extras matter a lot. And you gotta have the M if it's an M, man. The M just, you know, for the people who know cars and like cars, you'll never not notice the M going by you. And the exhaust note, oh, I gotta start this joint up for y'all and let y'all hear that, man, because the exhaust note sounds iconic, man. And you got the blue brake calibers right here. You got those rims. Now these rims come standard on the BMW. Unless you want to get a little extra drip, you can do that too. But you got the M right here with the colors and all that stuff, man. That's a bit, you know what I mean? You like the extra drip. You know, you got the M5 right here as well. It's just nice all around, man. The, the, the BMW designs have always been nice. The interiors have always been nice. But let's get to that exhaust note, man. Now tell me that exhaust note don't sound good. Man, you smoking big crack if you don't think that exhaust note sound good. Let me go ahead and uh, pop this joint right here. However you open this joint up. They got a little button down here that can open this up or? No. Well, let's just go ahead and use the key fob, man. If I get this joint to focus in, boop. Here we go, nice key fob, man. Let's go ahead and uh, hit that trunk button, like so. Got big storage room and all that stuff in the trunk and whatnot and all that good stuff. I'm sorry, y'all, but I can't. Get that analytical. Y'all want me to break down dimensions and all that. You got a little button. Shuts down automatically. Now we can open the hood. Let's talk about the horses and the torque and all that, man. The BMWs, man, these new ones especially, the engineering behind these joints are so crazy. What I do believe is 600 horsepower, uh, 617 in this one, and the regular M5 is 600 horses versus the old one, which was, I believe, the 2010 to 2017 M5s was on an F10 chassis. Um, M5 um, BMW, obviously 575 horsepower, uh, 500 pound feet of torque, but this one has 617 um, horsepower uh, versus the 600 horsepower M5 BMW. This one was on an F90 chassis and the other one was on an F10 chassis. Let's go ahead and shut that. Let's go ahead and get in the car. Let's talk about the interior now, man. So like I said, in this video right here, I'm doing it a little bit differently, man, because I did a little bit of research. I actually took down some notes, man. My guy Brian Dow, he helped me out a lot. He's actually the one who typed this up for me. I actually asked him to type it up for me, so that way I could be more structured with the video and all that stuff and talk about a little bit more of the analytical side and the technical side and the spec side that a lot of people like to hear so that way you get the entertainment you get the informativeness you know you get the extra drip because it's me you know what i mean but anyway man the interior of this is all really really nice the bolstering it's a bmw i mean look at this damn uh seat over here look like damn i robot don't look like a whole nother human being sitting next to me look at the damn head on the mook that's the actually a head and here go the neck this is the dude that broke the internet with, you know, just neck, head, and shoulders. Or no neck, just head and shoulders, man. Look at right here. Big bolstering up on the sides. I mean, look like something you'll see out of an alien movie, man. Look like something that belongs in a spaceship. And you want to know something really cool? When I hit this start-stop button right here, right? We're going to get to all this now. You hear that roar? A little extra legendary in this, right? Look at that right here. Oh, did the light pop on? So I think I might have to flick the lights on to get that to pop on. But that M5 actually glows right there. I don't know how to get that damn thing to glow. Actually, does this one even glow? 
Now that might not be the glow, that might just be the silver thing. Yeah, this one just has a silver thing. But there's another one where the M5, it's like actually it says M5 right here and it glows. That might, I don't know. But if he, if it did, he would have told me, I think, I believe so anyway. It says M5, right? But I'm gonna put that back there for the person that's gonna buy it. So that way, you know, they can peel their own stickers. You know, that's, that's a big thing when you're buying a car. Let me go ahead and straighten it out though so it don't look like I ripped it open. See, but where it says M5 right here on the other one that I seen up in there that they got an inventory, the brand new one with no miles on it. Uh, this only has like a couple miles on it. Um, that thing purely just glowed. Like it was like a light. It like the M5 literally glowed like a, like a Christmas tree light. I thought it was pretty dope. But I'm telling y'all, man, that seat look crazy, man. Not only does it look crazy, it's actually really comfortable. Like I'm sitting in it right now and I'm big bolstered up. You see my Eskimo jacket. I'm big bolstered up. You can go around corners of this and you can be uh, big comfortable too for long distance traveling too. So I mean, you really can't go wrong. And the design of it looks so, what? Look at that thing. Even the back seat, look at the back seat. Bolstering nice up. Big deep uh, pocketed seats. Look at the seat belts. On the seat belts, you even got you know the BMW infamous colors right here, like a little a little subtle thing, but it goes a long way. And then right next to it, you got some vents right here, you know, that can uh, blow back there to the people that's in the back seat. You got over here, you got your pattern right here. You got the memory seats on the passenger side and the driver side. You got the leathers here. This is a BMW, and at the same time, you got that Harman Kardon sound system. Now, everybody who watches any of my videos know how much I rock with and love the Harman Kardon sound system. I feel like. It's the best sound system other than like a Bang Olufsen. There's a few more out there that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. Uh, that's just like A level right from the beginning. You ain't gotta get no amp, you ain't gotta get no subs. Like you can literally be cool and watery in life, in everyday life, just like that. Now looking over here, look at look how sleek this pattern look right here. Look how futuristic that looks, man. From the stitching to the leather qualities to everything. Moving our way on up. Man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I had to take my jacket off. I was getting super hot. But if you look, you got the 360 camera degree angles and all that. You got the backup camera right here. You got a touch screen. Look, look at that, man. That is hard. You can click this one right here, boop. Go to the other side. Look how crazy that looks. Let's go to the front. That thing looks nasty, man. Then you go to the front front of the MOOC. Look at that. See a whole front car. And I'm thinking, can you spin this joint? Let's see. Let's see if we can see that side. Boom. That side perspective. Let's go over here. Bam. Look at all these different camera angles you can get on this car, man. This thing looks ridiculous, man. Let's tap up here. We go all the way around. Let's play around the world, man. You ever play around the world with your friends or any of that stuff growing up? We're going to play around the world in the BMW M5 2019, man. Right now, I want to take the fans off because, you know, it's getting a little extra hot. So I can just hit that little touchscreen right here. Or I can turn, you know, my seat cooler on on the passenger side. I can turn it on on the driver's side. Let me get that joint to focus in right here real quick. Yep, boom. So now, look, I can take that. I can turn it off, turn the levels. All the way completely off go over here to the passenger side do the same look fan speed off fan on high i could you know jack that thing all the way up to the mook boom turn it all the way off and be done with it one more time look at that man like this is hard like bmw always they always had this thing right here and they still have it now so for the people who want to do this right here instead of touching the screen you can just play around the world like this right or you could do the touch thing me personally i'm not gonna lie to y'all it do feel pretty fun doing it like this and this is cool i would do it like this though you know we all got our preferences but either way it goes bmw made it to where you can literally be old school and do the old bmw you know touchpad thing like this going forward and backwards and side to side and all that look because you can see like it's messing around with it now but i like the touchscreen man it's 2019 i like the touchscreen so one thing i always knocked bmw for and even my other car reviews was because they only had this and in 2017 2018 2016 and all that stuff it didn't have a touchscreen i want touchscreen it's 2019 and now they got it so now what can you say about bmw they have that touchscreen and they have that so for the people who like to be old school with it you got the, the little mouse and then for the people who want to be new school with it you got the touchscreen you know i feel like it goes a long way man and they even have it right here too so it's no more of them old ass analog embarrassing buttons everything is nice and responsive like even right here you click the button it's like responsive look and it all pops up there too or you can go here and do this too you know what i mean either way it goes it's all the way up to you i don't think you can actually touch this one either because i touched it right here but you can hear it you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just like that, man. It's really cool, man. It's a, it's a really cool feature. And y'all want to know a fun fact, too, that my guy, Brian Daub, told me about. I'm putting first and last name throughout the whole video because Brian Daub's a really cool guy, man, at BMW Minnetonka. Is it has a red stop start button. This only comes in the M's. So, you know, just to let you know you got a little something extra different. I like red stop start button, and I feel like every car should have that. Definitely the ones that are real performance driven and all that good stuff. And then you got like that, like kind of piano finish right there. Y'all know how much. 
I love the heads up display. Let's get that thing to focus in real quick so y'all can see that, man. The heads up display is super crispy, man. Y'all know BMW, they one of the top ones to have that. If I can get this joint just to focus in, bam, there you go right there. That heads up display goes a very long way. And if you look real closely, you can see it says 30 miles per hour right there above that zero. So it's saying I'm going zero miles an hour, but if you look to that top left part, that's the, that's the speed limit right there, a little white box. So it's like really your own built-in radar, you know, lets you know the speed and all that. And this right here, those M's that you see on top of that steering wheel right there, those are actually um, memory settings for your performance. So let's say when I get in the car, everybody who knows when I'm driving my Hellcat, if you follow me on Instagram or you follow me on Snapchat, whenever I'm in my Hellcat, I always have to go from custom mode, I gotta hit the performance pages, go to custom mode, and then go to track mode, and then everything's all in red. So you got memory, like how you got memory C, so if your woman's driving and she's 411 and you seven foot three hers would be one because it's your lady you got to have her as number one and yours would be number two so you'll always when you get in the car if hers thing is all the way up to the steering wheel you hit number two and it goes back to your seven foot three abnormal size gigantic human being uh status you hit that boom and then next you know it goes back to your setting same thing with this so your woman's uh performance mode in the car might be on just regular cruise i want everything nice and relaxed drive boom you hit that right but if it's yours, you want to go top of the move, you slim, you, you know, hell keezy, you want to go crazy every single day, you hit two. And then now it goes back to your settings where you're, you're the stiffer suspension, you know, holding the revs, just going, you know, full crazy. And then at the same time, you got digital dash. Now, anybody who's ever watched any of my videos knows that I love, absolutely love and adore the digital dash. I don't really like the old analog gauges. I like this right here. It's 2019, so I want full digital crispiness, and that is definitely what uh, BMW is giving you in this M5 and I feel like you can't go wrong with it and you got a heated steering wheel so look if I get this to focus in real quick heated steering wheel so you hit that little button now you got big cozy hot tub jacuzzi type steering wheel in the middle of a Minnesota Antarctica winter so that actually matters a lot and then you got the paddle shifters right here behind the memory settings and all that good stuff and you know it's a BMW so it's gonna give you all that extra performance stuff now another cool thing is if you look real closely right you see that light right up under the door right here see in Minnesota it's about four or five o'clock right now so it's getting really 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 dark you know really quick so you know the light is starting to pop out right now and if you look over here too you got it right here and it's all around the car in there and under there and you know all under there and stuff like that so they took a note out of a good book man by putting that in here man because uh and you could change it to a few different colors too so i think this is like the orange like bronze color or something like that but you could change it to white blue you know all that other good stuff man and um i think there's a lilac too and i think lilac is actually the best color that my guy brian was uh, showing me and talking to me about i actually like that one a lot it's like kind of like a purple color i mean you pretty much know what you're getting in a bmw man bmw is gonna give you all that good stuff man i mean it looks good you can see my eskimo jacket back there right there you know what i mean just a phenomenal car, man. You got Alcantara, no sunroof in here, but you got these lights right here. Kind of turns on nice and ambient. Look at that. Kind of majestic. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Boom. Kind of majestic, right? Looks nice, man. Turn it off. Slow turn off. Kind of like a transcending kind of, you know, turn off. Real nice, man. But anyway, man, let's go ahead and go on the drive so I can tell you all my thoughts about it. All right, man. So let's go ahead and... Uh I love you guys. Excuse my appearance right now, man. The grind don't stop, man. I've been at it all day, all week, all month, all year, man. But let's go ahead and uh, put this joint over the drive. Let's just get this going a good feeling, man. Um, one thing I'm gonna tell y'all right from the beginning, when I drove over to the spot right now, the steering wheel. The steering wheel is a big time difference too, and this this uh seatbelt too. As soon as you get in the car and you put that joint in the drive and you hit the gas a little bit, the seat the uh, uh, seatbelt actually yanks you back in and then it loosens back up to kind of let you know. I got you. And the steering wheel, big responsive, big beefy type steering wheel is heated. So, you know, in Minnesota, like I said, it matters a lot here, man. It goes actually a long way because it gets really freezing out here. And if you don't have a garage, and let's say this car has remote start and you start it up and you get in your car and you know, just the time <laughs> when you walk out your house to go to your car in a nice Minnesota winter, it could kill you. At least it'll feel like death anyway. So by the time you go to your car and you actually get in your car and you just ran about there for a couple seconds in that, in that nice Minnesota cold, you gonna hop up in here and that steering wheel, as soon as you put your hands on it, you're like, ah, it kind of gives you that kind of feeling, you know what I mean? So and at the same time while you're driving, it gives you that structure feeling too. And then when you're hitting the gas, you know, I'm trying to give y'all a nice structured one right now, so I'm gonna give it to y'all plain and simple on how I feel about it. When you hit that gas, it lets you know, like I can go fast if I want to, but at the same time, I can be crew, I can be calm and, and just cruise and be calm too. So that's one thing I really like about it, man. And the cool part about this one, the, the biggest factor to me about this one is the fact that you can go from all wheel drive 
cut to railroad drive. I mean, look. Damn. I thought that damn license plate was about to fall off. I was about to try to grab that joint. But this thing is fast. Like, and it's really, really fast. And if I'm not mistaken, man, I got the piece of paper right here. But I think it's a uh, 2.80 to 60 with the all-wheel drive. And I think it's 3.2 seconds with a um, rear-wheel drive, which is still super fast. The crazy part is you can literally alternate between both. So the dope part here is if you got somewhere where it snows, you can just put it in all wheel drive and you're cool to go. You know, but then when as soon as it turns springtime or summertime, you can have your fun too. And put that thing in rear wheel drive and keep it in the rear wheel drive. And if you don't think that it's gonna be like one of them cars that's gonna be like pure car enthusiast fun with the rear wheel drive car, watch the video. I'll put the link in the description below of when a person did an eight-hour drift. My guy Brian Dow, they told he told me about it, and everybody up there at BMW told me about when a, a person drove literally eight hours drifting. Drifted the this BMW M5 all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive car um, for eight hours straight and smoked the game. Like I think that's super impressive, man. They literally uh, filled the car up in eight hours because you gotta understand eight hours of going crazy and drifting, you gonna run out of gas pretty fast. Um, they literally filled. Look at this. Hold on. That sounds good, and it's like instant. Um, but yeah, they filled up the car while drifting like the timing had to be perfect so while this car is drifting and the other one's drifting they the car literally got outside the window and filled this car up while drifting for eight hours straight i thought that was insane man in this car right here so it gives you an understanding how fun it could be and how practical it'd be it could be fun in a uh, rear wheel drive mode it could be fun in all wheel drive mode so that right there is just proof uh and icing on the cake right there man that's a, what they call that uh that, that, that's uh putting for the proof or proof for the putting there you know y'all know what the hell i'm trying to say man but for anybody out there who's thinking about buying this car man i say buy it i think it's worth every penny i'm driving i'm going around the corner right now and it's hugging it and it's the middle of winter right now i'm not even going fast or nothing like and i honestly feel like and y'all know me i'm always going crazy if i want to you know or if the time you know permits itself you know um but in this car right here like i know like this is one car there's some cars you just drive and you know you don't even have to drive fast because you can just feel it this car i can just feel it like i know it's fully there and it'll give you everything you want and the fact that it's a new car is the reason why i'm really not going to drive and really push it to the move like that like i used to because like i said i'm coming to change man i'm giving you all some different type of car views man i'm trying to include that technical stuff you know all while you know being me as well so that's what i'm doing right now and i hope y'all like it man and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumb up make sure you comment below let me know if you like it let me know if you want to see more videos like it man uh because i'm thinking this is what i want to do man so y'all gotta comment below and let me know and i see a track hawk right there too man that's crazy huh but that's it man for this video man i really had fun shout out to bmw man and talking man for letting me take this joint out and uh have a blast with it man i think it's a really cool car i think it's worth every penny so if you're in the market and you're watching this video you've never watched any of my videos before and you're and you're watching this video i thought my camera cut off for a second i'm like what the hell <laughs> but no uh and you're in the market for this car um I, I i say it's definitely worth it i'm not just saying that just to be saying that anybody who's ever watched any of my videos or like i said if you're new to my channel go watch the old videos and you'll understand and you'll know that i'm very honest in what i do and how i do it you know sometimes a little too honest and sometimes a little too blunt y'all know what i mean hit hit you know what i'm saying but uh anyways um i would say this is definitely worth the money man and if you want to do it do it you know uh i think definitely for a place like minnesota where it's snowing like this like half of the year and you know how would you not want a car how do you not think about getting a car with all-wheel drive versus a car that's rear wheel drive you know and some people aren't in a blessed enough position in life to have a rear wheel drive car and have an all-wheel drive car you know what i mean uh so for the people who want you know uh one bird knock down two stones or you know you don't know what the hell i'm trying to say then i think this is a really good car for y'all man but i am here pulling up to a dealership man i think this job will get it done if that's what you're looking for man this it, it serves every purpose that you need you know so like i said man if you want to get it get it and i'm sorry if the lighting's a little bit off right now it's getting a little bit dark right now um but y'all know the grind don't stop man more videos coming comment below and let me know if y'all like this car review and how i went about doing it this time did you like the technicalities and stuff i was talking about you know with the extra drip because you know i always add that extra drip man you know what i mean but uh tall guy car reviews man i'm out of here with another video baby i'll see you on the next one man <laughs>